The Philippine economy once ranked as the second most progressive in Asia in the early 1960s. Yet corruption, political instability and cronyism in the decades that followed led to a decline in economic growth. In the 1980s, the Philippines became dubbed as the sick man of Asia. In recent years, however, the Southeast Asian nation experienced some of the fastest growth rates in the region amid a sluggish global economy. The country has won investment grade ratings and recorded stock market highs as its economy expanded. But what does this economic growth mean for the man on the street? And will the impact of this growth reach the country's next generation who dream of a progressive Philippines where they can fulfill the best of their potential. I want to be a famous pianist. I want to be an astronaut because I want to see the planets and the stars. When I grow up, I want to be an artist. When I grow up, I want to be a soldier. I want to be the president of the Philippines. In 2013, the Philippines recorded a remarkable 7.2% growth in gross domestic product, or GDP. Our experience with rapid growth is very short, uh, has been very short, uh, and, and so the challenge is, is to keep it uh, at that rate uh, of 6 to 7 to 8, uh, possibly a percent over a long period of time. Both the Philippine government and the Asian Development Bank say much has to be done in order for the Filipino masses to feel the impact of this growth. You have to, to uh, get the economy to a sustained uh, rapid growth, and we are just starting that. Um, uh, second is you have to improve the uh, capacity, capacity of the economy to generate jobs, and that means restructuring the economy. ADB is helping the Philippine government reduce poverty by implementing a broad approach to the issue. ADB has uh, partnered with the government in a, uh, addressing this multinational problem in a multifaceted manner. By that I mean we have interventions in the education sector. You must have heard about the conditional cash transfers. Uh, we have investments in transport infrastructure, water resources infrastructure. We have uh, investments in, of course, agriculture. ADB is working with local governments to implement the Infrastructure for Rural Productivity Enhancement Sector, or INFRES project. In Ligao City, in southeastern Luzon region, farm-to-market roads were built, communal irrigation systems constructed, and a potable water supply installed as part of the INFRES program. Farmer Lorenzo Payoyo says that ever since the irrigation canal was built, he and other farmers in the area have harvested more crops because of the constant supply of water. Lorenzo now earns more money from selling his bountiful harvest, enabling him to provide for his family. ADB also supports projects that invest in education and health for the masses, such as the Conditional Cash Transfer Program, or CCT. The CCT is meant to provide uh, greater opportunities uh, for uh, their children through education and health. ADB is helping break the poverty cycle further by creating a generation that is better educated than their predecessors providing them with skills and knowledge that would make them more appealing to potential employers when they join the labor market. The bank invested in the kindergarten or K-12 program, which increases the overall duration of education from 10 to 12 years, bringing the education cycle on a par with its neighbors. ADB also supports infrastructure and power sector projects, helping build up manufacturing and industry that also generate jobs. ADB has been doing a lot of things for us. Uh, ADB has been an important partner for the country and will continue to play a major role in, uh, in our effort to achieve inclusive growth in, in this country. As the Philippines strives to spread the impact of its economic growth across society, 
these children hope to one day benefit from the efforts being done today. Potentially the Philippines' next generation of leaders, they wish to have opportunities that would one day allow them to build a future not only for themselves, but also for their country. My dream for the Philippines is that everybody will have jobs, especially the poor people. My dream for my community is to be clean and to plant more trees. My dream for the Philippines is all the citizens will be a good citizens. Thank you.